Hello everyone, welcome to my channel for Windows Tech and More. Today I'll have a bit of a combination of Windows and Android working for each other with an Android app. But before I go ahead and get into talking about anything Android, I have a fellow YouTuber who not only creates great content for Windows tutorials, he for a while now has been doing a lot and a handful of Android based tutorials for his viewers and it's been pretty much of a success. You may know him as the Hacker 7 and he recently reached 50k subscribers. He does Windows theming, tutorials, hacks and more. He's a YouTube partner also at the age of 15. He's a great YouTube producer in his category and if there's any areas of Windows related stuff that isn't on flipping Windows, then he'll be your next number one YouTuber to go to. Check out the Hacker 7 at the end of the video by clicking on his YouTube channel in the About tab. Well, let's go ahead and get started on this series. I'll be showcasing to you on how to get Android notifications on your Windows PC so you're synced up even while you have your phone down. Getting right into it is the very website that will be giving you all that you need to know in order to execute to bring up Android notifications to your desktop as the headline would state right here. Basically, whatever your phone notifies you about, your desktop will also be shown right here as you guys can see in this little screenshot on the website. It's a pretty simple process. If you want to go ahead and follow along with the directions shown on the simple illustrated site, you can go ahead and do that as well as watching me. What you can do is go ahead and right click on the link called desktop notifications and open it in a new tab if you're using Google Chrome or Firefox. It'll bring you to the Google Play Store and if you're using the same Android account like Gmail account on your Android phone and also on your PC, you can go ahead and log into it and install the app to your Android phone from the computer, just making it easy. Or you can just go ahead and search up desktop notifications. Now if you either have Firefox or Chrome, these two buttons will lead you to the extension to finish up. Just install it and you're almost done. With the Android app installed, go ahead and press open and open the notification settings since it's disabled. Go ahead and check mark it to where it's enabled and go ahead and press back. You can go ahead also on the site, skip number two and move on to number three. The blue letter code will have to be typed in the extension that you have in your browser as I can go ahead and show you right here. Enter the blue code from your phone to the area that has the mismatched blue code and press apply. Go ahead and give yourself a test notification to see if it works from your phone. That way you'll be able to see if it worked and if it's typed in right. If you guys did receive the notification, then you'll be able to see a lot more notifications in terms of Gmail, any type of other app that you have on your Android phone. There are no limitations, even system notifications as well. You can also disable these system notifications by going to the middle tab on the app in your Android phone and discontinuing them. That's pretty much it. That's a very simple tutorial on how to get these notifications back onto your computer um, from your Android phone just in case you had misplaced your Android phone um, or you just don't want to pick it up for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was very helpful and if it was please go ahead and give this video a like and a comment on how well you did. And for future videos, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, catch you guys in the next one.